Welcome back to Retro Wednesday. It's a Tidarium Hanger. This is Mike, and today I want to talk to you about the Trouble Bubble, the Flight Pod, the Cobra Flight Pod, and I want to talk about the differences between the modern version, the 08 is modern, and the 1984, I believe, is the vintage one. There's some differences, there's some pluses and minuses to each two, some compatibility, and believe it or not, there's a lot of parts that aren't compatible. We're going to talk about all this coming up. Okay, so first off, I want to say that I'm in the process of restoring about eight of these flight pods, and I've been accumulating parts for over a year, and I was working on this and said, hey, this might be a fun video and informative for people because there's a lot of stuff I've learned over the past year messing with these things that I didn't know up front. And also, if you didn't notice, uh, I had Cobra Kai right here and not the Cobra symbol. But anyway, getting into this, there are some differences, so let's just take a look at them side by side. So here we are with a modern take and it's on this side and the vintage one is over here now as kids we had the vintage one the vintage one is a bit frail and the new one sort of fixes some of the issues we had with the old one starting at the top though you have the exact same bubble so the the windshield or whatever you want to call the bubble that's on top it's sort of a canopy that part right there is inner swappable i can swap them out and exchange them so that's one thing that they kept about the same relatively. Now moving down, you're going to see that all of the uh, sort of gray on here and dark charcoal pieces here, they're slightly different colors. So with that, you're going to have to keep that in mind. The colors are different. I, I believe we can reuse these parts here. You can swap them out, I believe. I haven't had any issues with swapping them, but I do want to say that it's remolded different. So. So the handlebar pieces, if I can get the light on it just right, the handlebar pieces are different. It's kind of thicker than this one. So much different. So look at the color to find the difference. Another difference is the way the figure sits in there. This is a clip. You have a clip in this one and you have the back peg on this one. So the typical back peg that you would see on all the stuff from back in the day, they took that out because the modern figures don't really use that so much. So a couple of differences, couple of mold changes when they did this. Now, looking at the front, we're going to notice uh, some differences right here. This is kind of a smooth front lower piece and this has a ridge on it. So that is definitely a difference in them. And then the gun. So the gun is much thicker. Now, a lot of these guns are broken. I'm gonna show you, I have a broken gun here. So they made it thicker, it's a little different, but from a distance, they look very, very similar, but this is real skinny and the fact that this is thicker, it's not going to bend. You can see this one is bending on me. So there's some pluses and minuses to that. Now I have one over here that has a broken uh, tip there. And I also had to fix this area here. Now, how did I fix that? I actually just made a mold and I poured resin in there and then I slid this in there and then I kind of glued the new resin piece to it. So it, it, it works sort of, but it's not really right. But anyway, that's another breakage piece on this and the modern one this plastic is just stronger now getting over here to the side i don't have this piece installed on this one and i'm actually kind of low on them but uh there's a difference in those and i've got them out to show you the difference here in just a second let's just do it now the big difference is the vintage one has detail on the inside where this one doesn't so that is kind of a difference like everything else looks about the same the molding on the outside looks the same the, the thickness and everything looks the same except when they remade it, they left out the detail on the inside. So that's one of those things you'll probably never ever notice, but it's different and it's something to take note of. Now, also, they added in a hose. Like they didn't have to, but they added in a hose and there's not a hose on the vintage one. Now that confused me for a little while. I was like, well, where's the vintage one with the hose? And that's just an added on piece. Now, looking at the back, these look identical. They do, the, the engines and then these little rotors. Now I've never tried to swap the little rotor pieces down there but they do all look identical until you take them off. And when you take them off, you're gonna notice that they are not identical. They have different connection pieces, different ways to connect. Now, I, I believe they did that for two different reasons. Number one, I think Hasbro is actually concerned about keeping their modern stuff modern and the vintage stuff vintage. I haven't really opened up any of the retro vehicles yet, but I believe there's differences in those than the vintage. 
they don't seem to care when it comes to retro of other brands that they've consumed it's just their own brands like this so you can look and say that's modern and that's vintage and it's it's not going to be messing with the vintage right but also you can't install this upside down so with this one over here you could actually install this one upside down but the way that they pin this they, they've got a pin and a hole you cannot install it upside down unless you do this number but that's that's like way off so you really can't truly install it upside down because it's, it's not right uh, so they set it up to where it's almost almost foolproof for the installation of that and this one over here and maybe it holds better i don't know i've never really had an issue with these holding in okay or, or bad or anything but it works out just fine and so there are some of the differences now i've seen different colors of missiles here now i think some of it has to do with fading but for sure like gray we have a gray one for whatever reason i feel like the gray ones are the vintage and the darker ones i, I really don't care myself which one's which and i've just accumulated any of them that work but uh we've got the vintage ones and the modern ones all fit and they're all interswappable interchangeable but I, I believe I like the darker ones better. It just, for whatever reason, I like the darker missiles better than, say, the lighter missiles. But still, like, uh, these are getting harder and harder to find. I'm glad I got them last year when I was finding them for a lot cheaper. And I didn't even know what was what and what was new and what was modern. But, uh, but getting them now is a little bit more challenging. They're not that expensive. You can get a actually a complete flight pod for, like, like under 30 bucks on eBay right now. All right, so next up, I want to talk about getting rid of the discoloration, and I want to talk about this little bomb piece here. So uh, everything on this side has been through the discoloration process. It's gone through the hydrogen peroxide. Now, this one's been peroxided. This one has not. As you can see, it's much, much brighter, and it looks so much better. So I'm going to peroxide probably the rest of them so they all look minty white. Uh, there's also this little door that comes off, so you want to make sure you have that. If you're trying to get it complete, if you're like me and you just kind of buy parts lots, you just end up with a bunch of this stuff. But I really don't care that they're complete. But since I'm already completing them, I might as well, uh, you know, get as many complete as I can. But this seems to be the exact same. Or maybe I have no modern ones. These might all just be vintage ones because they all look exactly the same. And they all seem to respond relatively well to the peroxide. But, modern plastic does not. Now, I've kind of had the modern stuff on the left, so let's keep it that way. This one here, and uh, the reason you could tell is the hole. This is the modern one. It's got the hole for the tube. And these both went through the process of, of the, the de-discolorization process. The same exact time. You can also tell from the back that it's the modern one. And this one still looks yellow. This one looks pretty good. Now, I'm not using this one because it's got a tab broken it won't hold its missile i can actually fix that i can actually make out of resin i could uh add to that with resin uh i'm not to the point yet i i, I find these parts pretty easy so i don't think i need to but i want to say that it's possible now uh the problem here is it's different plastic they are using different plastic. it feels the same but it doesn't actually the finished one feels a little stronger but it this doesn't respond to the de-whiting it'll yellow just fine but it won't de-yellow or whatever you call the de-discolorization process that we're using. Now, with the backpack, same problem. Uh, the, the, the engine, same exact issue. Even down to these little turbine pieces, which usually come super bright uh, when you do the process. Uh, this is still yellower. This is whiter, uh, brighter than uh, the modern one. So the modern plastic, maybe it's just not as good. All right, so vintage versus modern. Which one would I suggest? And it really kind of depends on what you're doing, what you're collecting. If you're collecting the vintage figures, then you might want to get the vintage one. In fact, you need to get the vintage one. I have trouble getting the vintage figures in the modern clip. That is, they're just too big for these skinny figures. They make these skinny figures in here to fit in there. But it looks so good. I think the modern one displays better and the figures display better. But the vintage one for vintage figures, you really need it to make it compatible. The other thing is the modern ones come in a lot of different colors. So that if you're in for all that, then you want to go modern. But good luck getting your vintage figures in there without breaking your figure 
or breaking that clip that holds them in place. So there are some challenges to it. I do think the modern updates with the hose is interesting. I think that the uh, modern update with the gun is interesting. But aside from that, they're basically the same thing, except some parts are not compatible. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you like the trouble bubble? And hey, are we going to get this in classified? Hmm, I bet we do. Like, subscribe to Deer Hanger out.